Hey guys, um, now we'll be doing Chapter 3, Lab 3-2, um, Multi-Area OSPF with Stub Areas and Authentication. Um, I'll have the documentation uh, with the actual network diagram on this, with all of the details on the IPs and stuff in the show notes. Um, basically, we're going to configure OSPF on a router, verify that or the multi uh, it's, got, it's behaving in multiple area and um, configuring the OSPF stubs, totally stubbed and not so stubby networks. So totally stubby and configure authentication as well. So let's get in and just start with um, basically router one. Let's have a look here. So we've got, let's just get into router one. Now I have named the routers, but that's all I've done. So let's just go in here and we'll go router one. Okay, so in router one, um, Basically, we'll be putting in loopback one uh, for router one. So it'll be conf t. And then we'll be putting in interface uh, loop, uh, loopback one, description, engineering department, and its IP address 10.1.1.1 with a slash 24 subnet mask. Okay, and uh, we'll also be putting in um, the serial interface for that router which will be um, serial um, one slash zero. And I'll get out of that to make it clear that what we're doing and serial one slash zero and the IP address will be 10.1.12.1. Okay, and then we'll do a no shut on that interface. Now the clock rate will be set on the other side of that on router two, so we don't need to do anything there. That's basically that router done. And then we'll duck over to router, I think it's router two. Well, let's have a look here. Yep, router two. Going to enable mode, conf t. Okay, now on this router, we'll be setting up loopback number two for router two. So loopback one goes to router one, loopback two goes to router two. Okay, and this one will be 10.1.2.1, .1 .1, the 24, backslash 24. There's no need to do a no shut on a loopback because it's automatically, it comes up automatically as that's how it's set. And then all we need to do is we need to put in the, um, so the, f the first one, which will, first one, it'll be the interface for, that will be connecting to router one. So this is where we have to set the clock rate as well. So there's the clock rate set at uh, 64,000. And the IP address is 10.1.12.2 done and uh, if you look across to router 1 12.1 so yeah in theory it should work okay and then basically we set up the the serial interface for that will be going to router 3 now this is not the this, we don't set the clock rate on this end we set it on the opposite end so there we go serial 1 slash 0 and the IP address is 10.2.23.2 for router the dot 2 is the router 2 so basically the last, this last, this last basically tells you which router it's on, just to, for, simplici for simplicity's sake. Okay, and um, get out of that. Okay, and then finally we go to router three. So enable mode, conf t. Now in here, we'll need to set up, there'll be two loopbacks. So there'll be loopback number three and loopback 20. Why 20? Why not, I say. So I'll just take that in. So that's description. The accounting department is on 10.1.3.1 backslash 24 and loop back 20, which will be the description is, this is the connection to another AS. So an, or another autonomous system. And its IP address is uh, 172.20.200.1. Okay. Um, no shot. Okay. And then... Uh, sorry, I'm an idiot. That didn't need to happen because the loopback is always up already. Anyway, so I'll get out of that. Now we'll do the serials for this side. So basically this is just one serial that goes back to router 2. And it'll be serial 1 slash 1. Serial 1 slash 1, IP address 10.1.23.3, backslash 24. And we set the clock rate on this side. And we go no shot. Now... So this is the 10.1.23. So on this one, it should be 10.1.23.2. There we go. See, three, two, 
so all things being equal this should work so I'll just go in and so what I'd like to do is do show CDP neighbor which shows the layer 2 connection bam and then we can see from from router 3 we can see router 2 on a layer 2 just to check the interfaces that the IP addresses are all set up properly you've got there it is so you've got the serials that's all gravy too righty and then we should just jump into the other router to see so we are show CDP neighbor oh I really hate that show CDP neighbor on router 2 we should see yeah there you go both the, both routers and show IP interface brief there you go they're all interfaces on that Go to the, and this is finally show CDP neighbor yep, router 2 from router 1 that's visible and then we do a show IP interface brief I'm in love with the tab, ca tab key so bear with me um, yep so there we got that as well cool so that's all seems to be up and running show IP route there, aren't, there isn't any routing protocol running yet, so it should just be all directly connected itself. So show IP route. Yep. And uh, show IP route. Cool. Sweet and gravy. So yeah, so that's basically that done. That's the original, that's the initial setup uh, of this lab. This is, that's just step one. So in step two, we'll add the interfaces to OSPF. So, cool. Uh, remember to read the shared notes.